Hello guys, welcome to another amateur vlog and today's video is about the Yellow Mountains. So Yellow Mountains is a famous scenic uh, tour spot for Chinese people, any type of you know visitors. It's amazing place to see. Unfortunately though, when I went, it was raining super hard. So yeah, the mist covered a lot of the interesting like spots. But just being there and recording, you know, whatever happened there was really cool. Uh, some audio issues because there was a lot of torrential downpour. So I'll put some audio for those parts of the clips. But yeah, the next uh, view upcoming vlogs are obviously stuff that I recorded a while ago. But now I have the time to put them all out. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll put out the remaining ones in due time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's fila. Today we are going to the Yellow Mountains. And uh, we're taking the long distance bus there, which is gonna take approximately six hours. So it'll be a new interesting ride. Okay, so we got the tickets for five of us. Careful, careful. And uh, yeah, it's about 150 kwai each. And oh, mine. So we still have a little bit over an hour, you know, to our bus. So we're gonna go out and just find somewhere to eat. And here's the shuttle bus station. Pretty cool design though, I, I, I do like it. Alright, we're at the bus now, because so this is a double decker, you know, so... Wait, no, it's not a, a double decker. That's it's not? Double, no, it rolled away, the double decker rolled away. You lied to me. All right. Anyways, I didn't this know. is just a normal bus. I mean, it's retractable, so you can recline and whatnot. But yeah, what a bit of leg space, so I can just sleep. But it's gonna be a six-hour bus. So. Okay, so we're at like Guangshan, the city, but not like the actual mountain. And we should be by the station stop at like maybe three thirty or something. So about an hour away. But yeah, a lot of the mountain sides are pretty cool already. You know, the clouds are basically touching it. Literally, the clouds right now at this area is just so low. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, okay, so we're here. Actually, came one hour earlier. All right, so we're at a hotel near the Yellow Mountains. 45 quiet, all right. And uh, yes, at four, which is in about 20 minutes, we're gonna go to the waterfall that's uh, in the Yellow Mountains. And um, essentially, we have like a specialized tour guide at this point because originally we were planning to do this on our own, but we had some problems and uh, we didn't get to the right hotel, so we ended up getting uh, assistance. And he's he's like you know the hotel like owner or something, but he also works as partly travel and assisting yeah, you know the booking of like tickets and stuff to get in the Yellow Mountain so he's driving us to the to the waterfall gate now that's part of his service well, I think if we go further ahead maybe we can actually see more of it because it seems like above there there's probably more to it but yeah um, it looks really nice <laughs> definitely and oh actually we can go we can actually go down quite a bit so we can get like splash on the water and get destroyed. Aside from that, we can get a closer view. Wow! Man, that's some really clear water. You don't see that often. <laughs> oh man. So this attraction area is actually one kilometer long and at the very end is the actual waterfall. So the one that you saw before this is actually only like a small waterfall, you know. The remains of a regular, the remains of a large waterfall. It's called the, I believe, the Nine Dragons Waterfall. So we're gonna go there. You know, it's gonna be a bit of a walk, one kilometer, but uh, we'll eventually see it very soon. Uh, this guy's doing some really intense calligraphy. Oh, look at that. That is really, really beautiful. We're finally here. Not dragon waterfall. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wanna go a little more? Yeah, yeah, of course. Damn! Now that's, now that's what I'm talking about. This is the type of waterfall I want to see. Wow! Holy shit. Wow, that is beautiful. 
Okay, we can actually go to the top of this waterfall, but there is so much stairs. Oh my god, this is a, a workout and a half. Oh man, I am so unfit right now for this, but we're gonna be at the top. They're gonna see this amazing view, I bet. Okay, so we're at the top now, <laughs> kinda, because there's much more than BCI, more. but unfortunately, the stairway is uh, blocked to go all the way over there. So yeah, I don't know if we can go, but uh, there's a there's a maybe a way around it, perhaps to go around there. All right, second day, and it's still raining like crazy. Pretty much raining the whole day, but I got my ticket now to uh, one of the starts. All right, we're on the bus now, and luckily, one of my homies got stranded too with me, so. We're not, we're not alone. Guys, look at this site. Oh man, that is fucking amazing. Holy shit. And we're not even at the entrance yet to the walkways. But you can already see how beautiful it is when it, when it is during rainy season. The mist is just beautiful oh, the in the Yellow Mountain. Wow, that is crazy. Wow, that is so amazing. We have arrived at the entrance to the Yellow Mountain. One of the many entrances anyways. And uh, check out my uh, new kicks, man. Oh, baby. Oh, man, we're matching today. But yeah, I don't have to worry about stinky feet anymore because it won't get wet. This is a teaser of what's to come. So we're finally entering now, now that I got the freaking ticket. So yeah, that is the entranceway. In we go. So I am two minutes in to the uh, entrance and you can already see a nice river downflow and yeah I don't know how long or how far this goes but uh, yeah it seems like almost endless but the scenery review is already quite nice and we're not at like the fake like scenery spots yet okay so I am climbing to the top of one of the Yellow Mountains and it is really really high so this is a lot, a lot of stairs. It reminds me of the Great Wall. But less intense, I suppose, because it's not as steep, but... Yeah, I don't know when I'll reach the top, but it's apparently supposed to be like... Um, maybe 2,000 meters up? I'm not sure, but yeah, it's pretty damn high as far as I can tell. Okay, I don't know if you can see the depth of how high I am right now, but... Uh, we're at a clearing, more stairs to go, but you can see some waterfalls coming down from up there. And only to be caught up by mist. Very cool, right? Alright, well, this is pretty cool. The water is coming from up there and landing into this little basin here. But I think we're pretty high up in the mountains now, so might be at the top. Okay, so we have definitely reached one of the peaks of the mountain. And we are a little lost right now because we're trying to find a loop. So juicy out! Yeah, we're trying to find a loop back and hopefully this is all downhill because, you know, if we're going back, it has to be downhill. But yeah, we are kind of on a schedule right now to, so we don't miss the bus. So hopefully we can, you know, get that all settled. Holy shit! Look at how ferocious this water is! And my feet is so fucking soaked! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, look, if we go down there, we can like fucking go all the way down so fast, but we'll probably die. We'll, yeah, we'll probably die though. Like, we'll, we'll land and probably hit a rock and die. So, wow, finally, I can see something awesome. Yo, check that out. Oh man, wow. Look at all this waterfall. I thought we were pretty high up, but we actually aren't. There's way higher peaks up here. 
Wow, just little rivers. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but from my view, you can see a lot. All the water is coming down from here. Oh yeah, up there too. I need to zoom in though. Let me zoom in a little bit. Up there, as you can see, all the water is flowing up downstream from the top of the mountain. So yeah, I can see it very clearly, but you guys can't unless I zoom in. So this is a uh, times four zoom in. Pretty crazy. Wow, this is treacherous, guys. We're gonna get blasted by water. But I'm gonna be careful now. Because I'm not trying to get like soaked. Oh shoot, go quickly! Oh my god! Wow! Jesus Christ! So much water! Jesus! Oh my god, this one is ridiculous! I'm using my umbrella! Oh shit! Yo, this is so crazy! Oh my god! Oh wait, alright, I'm moving past this! Whoa. Oh my lord, that's ridiculous! Wow, that is insane! That is insane! Now this spot is pretty good for photos, that's for sure. Probably gonna take a photo. Hey, let's see. Well, everybody else decided to just quit. So, I'm gonna go for 15 more minutes up this badass mountain and then head back because we have a train to catch. So I wanna see as much as I can before I leave. So every uh, good amount of space, there's like a little shop and guess how they get the supplies. They get the supplies by these suppliers. These guys literally check out the, check out the mountain probably every day carrying all that shit, going up these stairs, that is so, that is so grueling. I mean, I would cry if I tried to do that, you know? So, it's a very hard labor. Well, this is as far high up as I'll go because I am pretty much out of time. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I barely covered anything in the Yellow Mountain. I barely covered much at all. Only went to maybe one or two scenic spots, but Unfortunately, the mist pretty much covered all of it. But yeah, there's so much to the Yellow Mountains, however, that I have, you know, failed to uh, get to the top to see. So maybe one day I'll come back on my own time. Yeah, this this was unfortunately planned a little bit hastily, so we couldn't get the most out of uh, our trip here at Yellow Mountain. You know, I'll definitely come back one day because this place is beautiful, amazingly beautiful. And inspirational too. Well guys, this is the final hour that I will be at the Yellow Mountain place. So this is kind of like all the hotels slash restaurants slash tours here that are right outside the mountain. Um, there's probably a bunch of these areas. So yeah, hotels all the way over there. But we're about to leave though. We're just waiting on the bus to come and yeah, take us all the way back to Shanghai. <laughs> Okay, so we're back at Shanghai now uh, after missing the train and having to take the taxi broke our bank I mean broke her bank I owe her money but anyways how was the Yellow Mountain experience? 1 to 10 Non-wonderful Unforgettable experience uh -huh. What about you? I'll just look at you I'll just record your hands It was okay <laughs> what did he say? What did Ty he say? Tyrone said it was Terrible, okay. Of course, yeah. Tyrone's white skin said he was okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And for me, I give it a, a 7 out of 10. Only reason is because I didn't get to, you know, explore it as much. And it was a, just a, a very difficult, you know, to track. But yeah, very good. Very worth. Alright guys, so it is 3 a.m. and the reason why I'm up so late is I am jet lagged. I actually slept from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. today. I was like, yo, let's take a quick nap for like two hours and ended up being like the whole six hours. So yeah, I cannot sleep now, but it's okay. I'll recover. So yeah, I had time to uh, just edit this video and hope you guys enjoyed this experience at the Yellow Mountain with me. So there was a bunch of hilarious stuff that happened outside of just, you know, being in the mountains. Like, we had some hilarious um, hotel moments, man. Living with, like, critters, cockroaches. Oh, man, it, it is pretty surreal. So, I mean, if you want to know about it, just, like, hit me up on Twitch or something when I'm on online. And I'll tell you all about it. There's tons of good stuff vlog-wise that you guys could probably ask me on Twitch now that I'm, you know, starting to uh, do that again. 
So, uh, anyways, I will see you guys later with another video. Probably in the next one's in the Iron Man series, and then in between, I'll try to upload another vlog. And the next one will be the vlog for when I get back uh, to my hometown. Alright, so I'll see you guys then. Take care and bye bye.